waking up today, Todd. Bubba Horwitz is here. Hello, Bubba. Good morning. What's up? Hey, everything is well with me. I'd love to know what you are taking a look at. We have oil futures dipping below $40 in the market the other day. What do you think? Buy them. I think, there you go. I think it's a buy. I, I think that oil, we looked for this level. We talked about it when it was 50 that we thought it was going to go back down. There was some support at 44, but in the commodities, you'll notice that they tend to go farther than you think they're going to go. 40, I think, is an outstanding level to get in. And for those who don't play the futures, you may want to take a look at ConocoPhillips, trading about 39, or Chevron, trading in the 90s. Those are two great plays that have been really beaten down with the oil. So I think the oil is a great player. So you're buying the oil stocks. I, well, I'm buying oil itself as well. You're just buying. Yeah. You're just in the market. I'm a buyer. You're a buyer. Buy. <laughs> Unusual, right? Very, because usually you're. Because I'm short the market. You are short. Why are you still shorting the market? Do we still have some downside in the? I think there's. A, I think there's. A, tr I think yeah. there's a tremendous amount of downside. I think that 2175 to 2205 are the upper limit here. We're right around there at 2175. But I think that, believe it or not, I, as much as I can't believe it myself, I think the Fed is going to raise rates here. We've seen some really awkward when, in action. September? Uh, maybe sooner. How's that? Really? You look like at, a surprise? Well, look at the bond market. All of a sudden, the bond market has gone from rallying every day and bringing rates down in the last two days the bond market has fallen about four points pushing up the longer end of the curve which looks to me that the fed might be still i can't believe i'm saying it but the fed may be raising and i think that's the action you're seeing which is why you're seeing the market under a little pressure and look at the interday swings in some of the futures they're really wild although we haven't seen it in volatility yet so you're looking for interest rates to go up which will make some people happy who have their money maybe stored in some well, it would make it places. would make the financials very happy because they're not making any money because they really can't lend it would make the elderly that are in the market or well, the fixed income people, lend. well, they don't want to lend. The spread isn't big enough. Okay, it would make the people that are on fixed incomes that would like to get out of the stock market put them in a better spot. So it looks to me like it's a possibility. I can't believe I'm saying it, but it does look like it's a real possibility. Better as in less volatile because the stock market has been the best place to put your money. 100% right now. I mean, the stock market's had a floor under it based on the Federal Reserve, based on low money and cheap interest rates. So again, that may be changing and you're, we're starting to, we might be seeing a change in the guard, kind of like the Lion King. I can feel something <laughs> happening. <laughs> all right, thanks for all the happenings from you on our show today. Thank, Thank you. you.